it's never too late to be what you might have been. I instantly wrote this quote down and stuck it to the wall as motivation. When I was a kid, I always imagined how cool it would be to get paid to draw comics, but seeing how good other people were discouraged me. This month, I accomplished one of my goals. I'm now a comic book creator. I mean, sure, it's only digital, and yeah, my artwork is still in progress, but it's done. It's real, and I wanna share it with you. On November 17th, I got an idea for a comic book. I remember this date because it was one day after my birthday. I was downtown and bought a small brown sketch pad that I stamped to remember the date. I started making my idea come alive by sketching little thumbnails in my book every day. I brought my book everywhere as I continued developing my story. For the following four months, I put every free second I had into transforming my thumbnails into rough comic book pages. Having the first four issues roughed out, I digitized them and started attacking my first issue. Clayton's Beard was the very first name I thought of for this comic. I knew it was right as soon as it popped into my mind. I've never considered changing it. Clayton, a man living in the shadows of society, nearly forgotten, traumatized from witnessing the death of his father, is placed in foster care where he learns to grow and sell medicinal marijuana. Known as Grandma's Kitchen, he helps produce some of the highest quality dope this side of the country. Weak and frightened, Clayton starts to regain his strength and confidence as he develops a unique skill, swearing to make others pay for their wrongdoings. After his release from the joint, he stumbles into a special Chinese barbershop that not only cuts hair, but also reads fortunes. After receiving a hallucinogenic trim, he comes to on a park bench with the fortune cookie sitting next to him. I'm proud to say that issue number one is complete and will soon be available for free on my Patreon page if it's not already. It's taken me give or take 10 months to get to this point, so I would greatly appreciate any feedback you have for me, whether it's good or bad. Please keep in mind though that I have never been to art school, I'm self-taught, and I'm still learning. If you truly enjoy my comic and you'd like to help support me while I work through issue number two, I would greatly appreciate your patronage. I'm restructuring my Patreon page as we speak to offer you guys something I think you're gonna like. Thanks for your support, you guys. Beard on.